If you're not sure if you're ready to start your curly hair journey, let this video be, not a warning, but like I always have to take out a chunk and put it in the trash so Skylar doesn't see it and become horrified. Definitely, I found there's pros and there's cons. Hello beautiful humans. This will be officially the one month marker of when I started my curly hair journey. Um, so please check out my first video if you haven't seen it yet so that you can kind of get an understanding of what this one's all about. I wanted to make this one about the pros and cons of this whole experience so far because definitely I found there's pros and there's cons. If you're not sure if you're ready to start your curly hair journey, let this video be um, not a warning, but just I want to share some of the difficulties or challenges that I've had so far with it. Let's just get the, the cons out of the way. Overall, I've kind of noticed that my hair is not necessarily going curlier, which I thought it probably would, but maybe I'm just like my expectations are too high. It almost feels like I'm it's got a lot of wave to it but the curls don't seem to really stay so cons if you like to have like polished blowouts like when you go to the hairdresser you like them to blow out your hair you curl your hair you use straightening irons when you go out that's how you style your hair I would say a con of the curly hair journey it makes me feel less polished overall but for some reason when you have like smooth waves done by like a curling iron or a straightening iron or blow dryer it just seems like that looks more polished and in my opinion so I've had my con has been just not always feeling like I'm all put together necessarily the pro of that is that it does take less commitment to get ready to go out anywhere or anything so I'm not spending a lot of time doing my hair because I'll usually wash it do the whole process that I showed you in the first video and then leave it for a couple of days before I do it again. So if I'm going out in between then, I just go out with the hair that I have instead of before, I always used to have a shower, blow dry my hair, straighten it if I ever was going out anywhere. Another con I would say is that can't the predictability isn't there. Like anytime that I do the whole process with my hair, I don't always know how it's gonna turn out. Sometimes my hair turns out a lot curlier than other times and um, like right now, I did my, my hair yesterday but slept on it and now it looks like this. So, yeah. I'm actually deciding to color my hair. I know in my first video I said I was gonna stick to all the rules and not actually color it anymore and let this all grow out. I had pink in my hair and now it's kind of turned into a mauvey whatever since it's growing out and I want to just dye my hair all my natural color which is like a dark brown so I'm going to do that because I feel like it'll make me feel a little bit better about how it looks I've definitely gone back and forth about cutting it more I've definitely gone back and forth about just straightening it and even Skylar's had to like pull me back off the ledge because I was like, I can't do it, I, I hate it, I don't feel like it looks good. I would say another con is that with my wavy hair and letting it do its own thing is that it gets in a lot of knots easily. Um, specifically really, it gets bad in the back and I get like very knotted hair and you can't brush it. Like combing my hair with conditioner in the shower, it's a whole process. Um, if any of you are doing it out there and you're concerned by the amount of hair coming out, there should, there's always going to be some hair because everybody's hair falls out over time. Like that's just natural and breaks and stuff. And if you're not brushing it like dry, then um, that hair just gets kind of stuck. And so then when you shower and you comb it out, all those hairs will come out. So I do have a fair amount of hair every time I comb and, and condition my hair in the bath. Like I always have to take out a chunk and put it in the trash so Skylar doesn't see it and become horrified and that that's the only way I can get the knots out is I have to wash my hair and condition it and then comb them out in the shower um, so that's another con and then another con on top of that is that it the showering process takes quite a while like I can't just have a shower and like on the days that I wash my hair because I gotta like put they gotta shampoo the top, and then you gotta put the conditioner in, and then I gotta get all gently get out all these nuts, and then I have to put it in my 
my hair towel and then let it air dry and then I use and honestly this week I started a new job we moved if you haven't noticed the back scenery um, we are still in the process of unpacking and so in the mornings if I shower in the morning I don't have enough time to like let it air dry or do the clips in my hair or diffuse it so it ends up just being kind of wet when I go to work again which makes me feel not completely polished and then it just doesn't turn out as well if I don't dedicate the whole, myself to the whole process and making it have its optimal curl so those are the cons for me right now um, I'm gonna keep sticking it out though partly because I committed to it with you guys and partly because I just want to see if my hair does start to change Skylar has also been a champion in supporting me through this and saying, you know, like, remember you said in your curly hair video, it takes, could it take up to a year because I was getting, it's only been just over a month and I'm not feeling like my hair's changing, like it's not becoming any more curly, it's not, like there's no huge results happening, but it's definitely a lot healthier. So the pros I would say is that your hair is gonna be a lot healthier because you're doing so many less damaging things to it and for me as someone who like used to put so much time and energy into styling my hair before I went out it really eliminates that whole process so you have more time to do other things any tips that I've learned over the last month would be that you really have to play with the products out there and see what works best for your hair for me anything that's too heavy cream based like a leave-in anything it just weighs my hair down and it doesn't keep the curl it actually makes it less curly I find that if I just put like a nice light oil like an argan oil or a Moroccan oil in my hair when it's wet and just let it kind of dry and scrunch the crap out of it then it has better results so I'm gonna be going out tonight I actually just came back from camping so I'm keeping it real I smell like campfire. It's been an insane few weeks. We moved, I got a new job, then I had a family camping trip, and now we're having an event tonight that I'm going to be working at, so I want to redo my hair, try my best, see how much curl I can get out of it. I'm just feeling like it's, I'm not really, not looking, not feeling too jazzed up anymore, but I do think it looks better, healthier. Um, it's just maybe I'm just not used to this being the look of my hair. So anyways, just wanted to catch you guys up at the one month mark, let you know that I've struggled myself with wanting to like give up, go back to my hair straightener, and or cut my hair, do something because I just wasn't feeling like it looked like anything special and I was getting frustrated. So if you're over there and you're struggling and you're feeling like your hair is looking flatter and less curlier and you're losing your curl, I'm right there with you. Okay. So I'm gonna go shower in a little bit, do the thing, and I'll let you know how it turns out. So I showered and I put in a conditioner and combed my hair out. Um, in my shower, I keep my comb, all my products back there, and so I did conditioner just to comb out all the knots because I always have a lot of knots. And then after that, I just put in some gel that belongs to Skylar, but it's like sulfate-free, paraben-free hair gel. I'll actually show you the brand. It's called R and Co. And so that's what I used, and I just decided to try it out. I honestly haven't found anything that I love 100%. And I just scrunched my hair while it was soaking wet, wrapped it up in this towel with a little button, and now I'm gonna be doing my makeup and just getting myself ready to go out. And when I'm done my face, I will diffuse my hair. So I'm gonna diffuse with my hair dryer and of course with my diffuser attached. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna just do my makeup right now and do that next. And we'll see how this works out today. Okay, so this is the final product of diffusing it and gel and I actually put in a little bit of hairspray because I wanted to have volume. I like big hair so I just went for it but um, I'm running late and I'm going out so I'm going to end the video for now but I might do a check in tomorrow and show you what it looks like after I've slept on it. I do plan to put it in the scrunchie overnight, got my satin pillowcase, 
all the good intentions in the world, but we'll see how it lasts. But this is kind of what, I know it wants to be curly. My hair wants to be curly, but for some reason, unless I do all this effort, I guess it just requires the effort and the styling and then it will look the way it needs to look because if I don't put all the products in it and I don't um, diffuse it and do all of that stuff to it, um, you'll, it's like how it was before I had a shower. That was just when I had let it air dry and put nothing in it and just went about my day. So this is how curly it is when effort is applied. Okay, I gotta go out now, but I will see you guys later. Okay, so I just wanted to do a little follow-up from the other night when I curled my hair and did the whole process and it was very curly that night and I actually got a lot of comments from friends being like, wow, your hair is so curly. So that's great. Um, and then the last couple nights I've actually had the flu and have been felt like a complete bag of trash. So yeah, I'm not 100% thrilled with how my hair looks most of the time, but um, it definitely, yeah, I don't know. It's a work in progress and I'm going to stay committed and just see that if over time my hair does get a little more curl to it and maybe if it holds curl for a bit longer, that would be nice. And I just gotta keep experimenting with products too. That's my follow up for one month into the curly girl method. And I'll check in with you guys later. But right now I'm gonna lay down because I'm not feeling very good. Goodbye. Just kidding. So I kind of wanted to just do one more follow-up video because my last video was not the best representation of my hair. But that is what it looked like after putting a lot of gel in my hair the night that I went out and hairspray. With that much product in my hair, it actually on day two and three it doesn't look good, it just looks, well, you saw how it looked. This morning, I rewashed my hair, and I just wanted to show, all I did today was I just put in some argan oil. I really like argan oil because it's really light, it's not too heavy, and I just put it um, underneath my hair because it gets really knotted under there, and I put it on the ends. And so my hair definitely isn't as defined curls, but it's really soft, it's light. I know that day one, day two, it's still gonna be super manageable. It's not gonna get very tangled like it does when I put all that gel in. Um, one product that I do really wanna try is like a mousse. I feel like a mousse product might work better because my hair is so fine. But so far, this is my favorite um, results of the whole process is if I just use some oil all through my hair. I did diffuse it this morning, so it got a little more body and life to it and curl. So this is what I'm working with most days. Anyway, so that's it. Check in with you guys in another month or so and let you know how it's going. Good luck to y'all in your curly wavy adventures and comment below if you have any questions or if you feel my pain about dealing with the natural wave struggle. First world problems. Bye.